Greetings, this is Martin Patella for Life Enthusiast Online Radio and TV Network. We are restoring vitality to you and to the planet. Today with me I have Elijah Free, Master Herbalist and founder of Earth Friend Herbs. Hello Elijah. Hi Martin, great to be here today. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Awesome. I would like you to please help explain to our listeners formula you created that you named Song of the Nightingale. It's quite an evocative name. Thank it? you. It's actually a very evocative formula. This is a very old formula. I have to say, this formula has probably undergone more changes over the years than just about anything I've done. It began as a concept. It was my uh, first or second year of uh, practicing. So we're talking, that goes back a pretty long time here. It's probably early mid I I'll bet it was about 84, 85 or so, okay, even maybe a little bit less than that. And I was doing a study of oils at that time. And I said, well, I want to make a product with that in there. Uh, there's nothing quite like this. And we were, I was living in Massachusetts at the time. And that winter, there was a plague of sore throats and chest things and chest things and sore throat. So for the practice, uh, we weren't selling herbs at that time at all. Everything was just being made for the practice, and I was still learning everything and very excited about my career at that time. Well, actually, I'm still just excited probably more, but very excited. So we came up with the concept, and it's actually what's called a tincture serum. Please yep. tell me when and why I want to use it. When and why? Okay. Well, anything sore throat, chest colds, anything to do with lungs or sore throat, um, if you are a speaker, if you're a singer, if you talk a lot, it's something you want to use. If you are with people a whole bunch, it makes your voice just mellifluous and gorgeous on it. We sell this to singers and all kinds of professional people like that. But it's great for anything like that that has to do with the throat going into the lungs and especially the chest. When I work with my patients in body work, I take some before Every time I work with them, it gives me a breath that smells like just lovely peppermint, just mildly. So if you're around people, take a shot of that, probably about a half a shot, because I do that all day long. So I take about a quarter of an eyedropper, and I don't have to worry about that. I do body work all day, and I'm up close with people tremendously on that. You could even eat garlic. You brush your teeth and take that. That's going to take care of that. It also soothes the stomach. It's one of the finest things for that. Now, I want to mention because of the oils, this is not for small children, and it's also not for pregnancy at that time. Now, how, what's in this is we take a base of organic honey and um, organic um, vegetable glycerin. Then we make a tincture extract for this. This is cool. Then we whip the whole thing up. We add the tincture. Then we have five different oils that go in there. On it, we make big gallon batches of that at a time, and the whole thing then is whipped and whipped and whipped to get it like that. Then we let it sit for about five days to just sort of come together before we'll package it and stuff. Finn, what I just have to say, I love this formula. The funny thing is when I first made it, it wasn't for over the counter. And so we used herbs at the time that we could use in the practice that we couldn't go over the counter. So it actually looks completely different, except for the oils and the base of that, that stayed. So this formula has been around for 10, 12 years at least now. We're really happy with it. Um, like I said, whenever the fall and winter comes on, the stuff just goes right off the shelves. It works really well with immunogen, okay? Very, very, very important with that. So if you've got flu or cold and you've got all that chest stuff, you're gonna to wanna to take those two of them together. All right. Well, now that we're on to the immunogen, would you please explain how that works? Oh, okay. Um, immunogen is our immune system formula. There were times for several decades we would have two or three different ones, and they would piggyback. We had our INF, then we had INFV, and we had INFVF, depending upon what type of sickness or illness that you had. And if you had the flu, you would take this one. And then some years ago, the market opened it up in a very phenomenal way. And <clears throat> as you know, and I know being in the trade, but I want to just mention this for our wonderful folks out there. Years ago, you can never trust things if it was going to come seriously from India or China or other parts of the world. It was like anybody's guess. 
things were irradiated, they were sprayed, and they didn't even have to tell you at the time. They just wouldn't be marked organic. So years ago, there was a wonderful consortium got together and they created a standard worldwide for that. So now we can get herbs from China, from India, from islands, and everything has gone through a very, very profound uh, specialization in checking out program. The places that we order from also do the same thing. Everything goes through spectral analysis uh, before we get that. So as a result, we are guaranteed exactly what we're getting and the quality. We can actually get a certificate of authenticity on every raw piece of material that we get. The reason I'm telling you that is when that happened, we could design differently because there were things that we could not use around the world. And that's when immunogen happened. We have mushrooms from China. We have um, quassia bark from islands. We have condorango. It's up in, what is it, 15, 18,000 feet or something in the Andes jungles and all of this stuff. So immunogen is this wonderful um, immune system that will knock out just about anything and strengthen your immune system that can be used on a regular basis. Anyhow, I wanted to tell that story because it's the herb market has changed so drastically in the 40 plus years I've been in it. Some not always for the best, but this was one of the best things that ever happened to us and to the consumer ever. Mm -hmm. So I hear you say standardized and certified inputs. That's an awesome thing because we can, of course, yeah. reliably we can reliably make uh, repeat batches, expecting that it's going to behave in a very similar manner. Yeah. Okay. So the immunogen you would be taking that uh, when you are what faced with a lot of public like air travel or anything like colds, flus, oozing putrescent wounds lung problems, all sorts of things like that. We have a whole group of uh, teachers that, that uh, when the school season starts, like two weeks before the school season, they'll buy like three or four of the great big four ounce bottles that we have in clinic and they'll take it the entire season. And we have teachers that say they, they'd be sick like every few weeks, every month or two. They don't get sick at all, even with the kids mm -hmm. are sick, they just double up on it and they just sort of take it all day long. Okay, so and they, they would be, what, doing the combination, immunogen, and then Song of the Nightingale, if... Uh, if probably happens. just the immunogen. Thank you, Elijah, for uh, describing the Song of the Nightingale and the immunogen. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you for listening. This is Martin Pitella at Life Enthusiast. We are restoring vitality to you and to the planet. <laughs> <laughs>